Alright, so uh, I'm going to be presenting your safe bank. So let's get into it. You've all probably heard the phrase more money, more problems, right? You get a confirmation on that. Yes. Okay. We probably all rushed it off, right? It seems kind of ridiculous. I'm going to tell you why it's not. Billionaires, <clears throat> they've got some problems. Okay. The problems with being a billionaire, right? They have to preserve all of their wealth, right? There's a lot of stress on them to preserve it for their family, okay? They've got a lot more to lose, of course. Um, again, like I said, they have people that depend on them for their success. And they don't have a lot of options when it comes to saving money in a way that is safe and both liquid. Or both safe and liquid. All right, the problems with storing large amounts of wealth. In times of uncertainty, you need liquid assets. All right, so think about COVID, war, anything like that. You want to have money you can spend quickly. Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to store large amounts of liquid assets in today's world. Most people can put cash in a bank account, invest in the stock market, or buy precious metals. This does not work for billionaires. So let's talk about why. Banks lend out a majority of the money they control, therefore they're susceptible to bank panics, okay? So we've all heard bank panics, they used to happen a lot. Uh, 2008 it happened. Um, I think it was, I think it said 511 since 2009, banks have gone bankrupt. So any money people had over $250,000 is gone. Um, the FDIC only insured the first 250K in a bank account. So this is not a good choice for billionaires. Stock market, right? At scale, stocks are not liquid. A substantial amount of legal ramifications come with purchasing or selling hundreds of million dollars worth of stock. And it also may take months or years to sell all of your shares due to SEC regulations. So. In uncertain times, they also drop quickly, so it's not a good, safe choice for billionaires. Now, arts, metals, high-end, precious metals, high-end art, boats, and property. Most of these are safe stores of value, and they're highly illiquid, so that's the main problem with those. In uncertain times, no one's gonna wanna buy your boat or your art piece. Again, not a good option. So the solution, a bank that holds all deposits in a distributed network of discrete locations across the globe with an interconnected transportation system allowing for the delivery and money delivery of money quickly and safely to our clients. The bank will make money from an annual fee depending on your amount deposited. Example. You got one billion, right? And then you have a 0.5% annual fee. This solves bank panics, risky investments, and liquidity issues. So let's do a comparison to visualize the difference that this will make in your life. You're a real estate mogul in 2008. You wake up to horrible news. The entire housing market has crashed. People are unable to buy or rent a house. Most of your wealth is in real estate. The rest is in the stock market, and some of it is in a regular bank account. The value of your properties plummet, and the stock market <coughs> plummets, and one of your banks goes bankrupt. Even though you built an empire of wealth, it can all be erased in one single event. All right? Now, I'm not gonna reread the entire thing for you, but basically, the only difference is that you put 10% of your wealth in our bank. Therefore, everything crashes, but your 10% is safe, you have $100 million. Now, you and your family can escape the US. In that case, it was a Chinese war, whatever. So you'd be safe because you went with us. Hence the name, Safe Bank. So, if you wanna sign up for our bank, go to safebank.com and create a new account. Select your preferred meeting options, okay? You can do it via Zoom, phone call, the list goes on. Uh, schedule a meeting with one of our talented advisors and then sleep better knowing that your future is safe. And then you can request funds anytime, anywhere, 